Guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today I wanted to share with you guys some cool third-party Siri shortcuts. Now, Siri shortcuts, of course, is my favorite feature in iOS 12 because it's just an awesome feature where Apple finally gave Siri uh, some more, um, how do you call it, function or just much more uh, powerful tool. Made it much more useful, I guess. That's a good way of putting it. So let's begin. So the first one, the app, the first app is called Word Daily Dictionary. So Daily Dictionary is an awesome app where, of course, you get to uh, see the daily word of the day or the word of the day. I mean, sorry. Um, so uh, you can see, of course, the past uh, days. What were the daily? What was the word of the day for the past days? And it's an awesome series shortcut that they created where it just tells you the word of the day. So like, word of the day. Daily dictionary says today's word is blabber. It means talk on and on. Perhaps. And there we go. So that's an awesome uh, little series shortcut that they created. Next, we have Twitter. Now, I was actually surprised uh, that uh, Twitter actually created some series shortcuts. Uh, they created a few, but this is the one that I have installed. New tweet. Where it quickly, of course, you'll be able to quickly access the compost, the composed area on the Twitter app, which is really cool. Of course, so I can quickly tweet something out when I have something in my mind I want to tweet out or I saw something, and so yeah, pretty cool. Next one we have Castro. So Castro, of course, is an awesome podcast player uh, for the iPhone, and it's my favorite podcast player. And this one's pretty simple, where I can actually just tell it to play, uh, start playing the podcast. Play Castro. And there we go. So it will start playing uh, the podcast uh, that I have uh, lined up to it. Next, we have Halid. So Halid, of course, is an awesome camera app. If you guys have not checked this out, I highly recommend you guys go check it out because it's just an awesome, awesome uh, camera app. Uh, I will not summon the series shortcut for this one just because my room is a bit messy and I don't think you guys want to see how messy it is on the floor here. Next, we have Carrot Weather. So Carrot Weather, of course, is an awesome weather app, my favorite one, and it's a super simple uh, series shortcut that the developer has created. Uh, so there's a ton to choose from, but this is the one that I have. Check weather. Carrot says it's 16 degrees and mostly cloudy, with a low of 10 degrees tonight. Bloop, bleep, bloop, bloop. And of course, you get to see uh, the uh, weather for throughout the day, which is really neat. Uh, so that's probably one of my favorite uh, series shortcuts uh, to date right now. And not least, we have uh, we have Google News, which I was actually surprised that Google actually created some series shortcuts, uh, but it did. So Google News, of course, when you tell it to uh, check the news, um, let's see if I remember. Check my news. Oops. Sorry. Check my news. There we go. So when I say that, it opens uh, the Google app and there we go. I get to see uh, the news that it has lined up for me to read. Now, like I said, I'm going to share with you guys where you can actually find all these uh, Siri shortcuts. So if you go to the settings app, um, you go to the Siri and search tab, you click it. And of course, it has all the uh, Siri. You can see the suggested suggestions. You go to all shortcuts. And then there we go. So it has all the apps that support Siri shortcuts that I have installed here. And of course, if you keep scrolling down, it gets to the personal area, so your contacts, your email, and all that stuff as well, which is really cool. And of course, you get to see, of course, your Siri shortcuts that you already created. Um, so I have there the ones that I have already installed and ready to use whenever I uh, want to see something quickly from Siri. So yeah. Those are the top apps right now. Uh, super early, probably I'll make another video of other apps that uh, create some cool Siri shortcuts. But for now, these are the top six apps. I highly recommend you go check out um, and try them out for yourself. So that's it for now, guys. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.